Hello everyone. Today is Wednesday, September 30th, 2015. And in light of the congressional hearings on Planned Parenthood, um, I thought I'd do a quick video on it. Um, frankly, what I found was totally shocking. Um, here's an article from January 2014. Planned Parenthood got 540.6 million in government grants in fiscal year 2013 okay here's a nice little picture of Obama hugging the Planned Parenthood lady all right let's listen to we'll go on and listen to some of the hearings and um, we'll do a little digging all righty your compensation in 2009 was three hundred and fifty three thousand dollars is that correct I don't have the figures with me, but I'm. It I don't was. Want to Congratulations. Um, in 2013, your compensation went up some $240,000. Your compensation we're showing in baseline tax returns is $590,000, correct? That's not my annual compensation. I actually, my annual compensation is $520,000 a year. I believe there was a retirement, there was a program that the board. Um, a, a, a sort of put together okay. for a three-year I'm happy again I think we've been extremely forthcoming with all of our documents Let me go to so. the next one will Planned the gentleman Parenthood. yield no I won't it, it, the Planned Parenthood and its lobbying arm Planned Parenthood Action Fund uh, it controls two 527 organizations that have their own political activities Planned Parenthood votes and Planned Parenthood Action Fund PAC do they receive money from Planned Parenthood to conduct these activities the Planned Parenthood Action Fund is a totally separate corporation, receives no federal dollars whatsoever. What about the management? Who manages it? Do you manage it? It's, it's managed by a team of people who are employed by are the Planned Parenthood Action Fund. you one of those that Action helps manage fund. it? I, I don't directly manage it, no sir. Do you help manage it? Some of my time is allocated to it, but I do not oversee the, I oversee. In, in 2013, you were, you were listed as a shared employee. In fact, you were compensated with $31,000 to help asked, run that organization, correct? You asked me, if, excuse me, sir, but you asked me if I ran the organization. Some or of do my you help run it? Some of my time is allocated to the Planned Parenthood Action Fund, which is required by law, and we meet all of the legal requirements. And so you also involved in the Planned Parenthood Action Fund. Um, what do, if you could help us understand what the duties are for your $31,000 of contribution. My guess is, is you running the, the mothership here when you show up and, and want to have something done, it's, it's probably done. Um, do, does Planned Parenthood control any organizations that lobby? Does Planned Parenthood control any organizations that lobby? Okay, first of all, let's look up the definition of lobbying. Just wanted to be clear on that. Lobbying is the act of attempting to influence decisions made by officials in a government, most often legislators or members of regulatory agencies. Basically, it's legal bribery, okay? So, legal bribery, Planned Parenthood has an organization that legally bribes our senators and congressmen in Washington DC and the president of Planned Parenthood okay also manages the lobbying firm which also shares the same employees the same office space the same everything okay so let's move on to this uh, influenceexplore.com in fiscal year 2013 to 2014 Planned Parenthood spent two million seven hundred forty eight thousand eight hundred and six dollars in lobbying in DC one million five hundred twenty four one hundred thirty three dollars was spent on Planned Parenthood and Planned Parenthood Action Fund, they spent $644,673 in lobbying. Okay? Here are the name of the lobbyists. The most frequently disclosed lobbying issues include health, foreign relations, family, 
abortion and adoption, federal budget and appropriations, immigration, labor, antitrust and workplace, civil rights and civil liberties, education, law enforcement, and crime. Okay, so they have a lobbying group that's supposed to be a separate organization, but the separate lobbying organization shares the same employees, the same money, the same building, the same email list, the same everything. So let's move on to the hearing again. The Planned Parenthood Action Fund is a separate organization that has its own board and its own fundraising shared employees, and no federal shared employees. Assets, shared, shared list. Shared, shared employees, shared assets, shared list. So it's an organization within an organization. Shared emails, shared assets. This is the concern. Um, Tell me about I just, this. Could I, I just want to make sure you understood my statement, since I know that we're talking about federal funds. Zero federal funds are related it's to the, the plan. It's the commingling that, bo that bothers us. Every dollar that we you are, give, every, no, hold on. Every dollar that you get in a federal from federal dollars means you don't necessarily have to allocate it for these particular assets. So that's that's what we're concerned about. Okay, so let's move on. What this woman is doing, what Planned Parenthood is doing, is money laundering. It is a criminal activity. So let's go to the definition of money laundering. Money laundering is the generic term used to describe the process by which criminals, and that, that is what she is, disguises the original ownership and control of the proceeds of criminal conduct by making such proceeds appear to have derived from a legitimate source, okay? Now, let's look at this. Planned Parenthood is a 501c3 organization. They are a public charity. Now, let's go to the irs.gov website and they have a PDF on the compliance guide for 501c3 public charities, okay? Now, if we scroll down to page five, we will see political campaign intervention. All right. Public charities are absolutely prohibited from directly or indirectly participating in or intervening in any political campaign on behalf of or in opposition to a candidate for public office. This lady is a criminal. This organization is a criminal organization. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just proved it to you. Now, let's look again at the Planned Parenthood Influence Explorer, okay? Let's just scroll down quickly here, okay? They're different organizations. They have listed the people, the candidates, who they've opposed and supported and how much money. In fiscal year, from 2013 to 2014, this poor guy named Tom Tillis, they spent over a million dollars opposing him. This is nothing but a criminal outfit. Now, top contributors, look who we got here. George Soros. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Come on now. I'll leave all the links below and let you decide. My decision is they are a criminal organization. This woman needs to be put in jail. Thank you. I'll leave all the links below and you have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. This is Cod Goddess signing off.